November in Dallas County is starting to look similar to July when it comes to the coronavirus pandemic. Everything is consistent and pointing uh, in the direction that things are really getting dramatically worse. A record 1,543 new COVID cases were reported Saturday. 605 COVID patients are in the hospital and the positivity rate slightly above 15%. Uh, you know, the impact on our healthcare system uh, being able to, to handle this because, you know, the, the, we've got these frontline healthcare workers that have been dealing with this for months. And, uh, you know, I mean, it's just um, as these numbers get uh, higher, it's just overwhelming, uh, you know, it, it just tremendous stress. Uh, on the system. Friday, Dallas County Judge Clay Jenkins sent a letter to Governor Abbott about the rising COVID spread. The governor does not allow restrictions on restaurants and other businesses to return until the region's patient capacity is above 15 percent. Jenkins says he is not calling for a shutdown like we had in the spring. They don't think we need to be locked uh, down in our homes, but they do think that we need to shut down those loopholes that we have for bars that we need to limit our indoor uh, gatherings to 10 people or less, and that our outdoor gatherings also need to be 10 people or less, unless we can be six feet apart. County health officials say contact tracing has shown more people are having house gatherings or parties. With a major holiday approaching, Jenkins and Dr. Wong are calling for people to show discipline. Do your Black Friday shopping, um, you know, online. And when it comes to Thanksgiving, we've got to think about celebrating that with our people that we live with and finding a way to reach out to the others that we love through the phone or Zoom or some other mechanism. This won't last forever, but it won't go away just because you're tired. Stephen Dial, Fox 4 News.